Good morning. It's been a while since I've been up this early, but I'm glad to be able to be up and getting back on the mending side. Hope to be fully repaired and pushing full steam as soon as possible. In the meantime, I hope y'all are as glad to see me as I have been glad to see you interacting in the social media, on the website, responding to the videos. It's been a while since I put some up. I want to talk to the fellas because I've been talking to the ladies a lot. Fellas, you know we hear a lot about bitter women. I want you to know we've got some bitter men out here too. And if you're one of them, I want you to acknowledge that you've been hurt and start healing because you're human and I know that you have to man up and you can't show any sign of weakness that's not weakness that's being human when somebody's hurt you and you feel it but you don't have to go around hurting other people because you've been hurt now I will not dare discount the fact that men have feelings and there are some women that have taken advantage of you, that have crushed your feelings, broken your heart, and literally taken you down through there. There are trifling, low-down, lying, conniving, manipulative women, just like there are low-down, no-good men. I can acknowledge that I got some sisters out here that ain't what the bird left on the fence. And you know what the bird left on the fence, don't you? I know you do. You've had first as experience with them. But see, you have to admit now, brother, out of all the bazillion women in the world, you chose that all. Yeah, you did. Some of you all passed by four or five good women, knocked one down and stepped over another one to get to her. Yes, you did. You chose that all. Yes, you did. Sadder still. <laughs> Some of y'all was with a good woman. You know the kindness, the best thing that ever happened to you since Jesus and an income tax check. And left her to be with that woman that took you down through there. Mm-hmm. You was doing you. It's all right. You can do what you want to do, brother, but you sure got to live with the consequences of it. Mm -hmm. And see, choosing the wrong woman in your life will have you messed up because, baby, an ignorant woman can take more out the back door in a teaspoon than you can bring in the front door with a dump truck. Some of you dealing with an ignorant, crazy, belligerent, trifling, low-down woman is the reason why you sweating bullets, working and ain't getting nothing but tired. Your money raggedy, your life raggedy, your nerves bad. Because you got caught up. You got got. Chalk it up to the game that you was playing when you played yourself and picked her. If she's gone, you can get ready to start healing and get over it. If you're still with her, Count up the cost, brother, and let her go. Because there are too many good women out here that know how to treat a man for you to be dealing with a fool. And don't let that song by Johnny Taylor fool you that it's cheaper to keep her. Because it's really not. Because when your health and your mental stability, your mind and your heart, and your life is toxic by a poisonous person, is it really that cheap? Let her have that stuff if that's what she wants and go on with your life. Some of you have already made that decision to go on with your life. I want to help you understand that it's okay to have to start over to live a better life for you. I know some of you all are staying because you have children. And I understand that. But take the time to research the law. Understand your situation. Find an attorney 
that can help you plan how to get yourself out of a situation that may be killing you. That's why some of y'all drinking too much. Some of y'all may have even turned to drugs. Some of y'all staying out all night and doing anything to escape that pain of either having dealt with a crazy woman or living with a crazy woman. Fellas, is that house worth it? Is whatever you stand there for worth it? For those of you that have moved on, do that. Move on. Deal with it. Heal. And don't bring all of that toxic stuff into some other woman's life. Because back again to the original point that I told you, you chose her. Look at the mistakes you made. Acknowledge what you did wrong. Vow not to do it again. And go out in this world and treat people the way you want to be treated. Some of y'all need to stop what you're doing. You're going out here hurting women that are good to you. Because you are still mad with Horetta. Yeah, I said it, Horetta. Because see, because you don't know the difference between Horetta and Loretta, that's how you end up with that fool. That's how you ended up with that fool that either got you crazy or you living with a crazy fool right now. The heifer wasn't cooking when you met her. When you first went over to a house, a little baby roach told the other roach that somebody was coming and was coming. Dish water was gray in the sink, pampers all everywhere. You thought you, oh, you thought you had the platinum penis and you was going to change all that. Her priorities was jacked up when you met her. Her lights was finna be cut off with a disconnect notice on the door, but she told them, uh, Doon and Burke, Coach, Louis Vuitton, Pocketbook. You should have known she was crazy then. You went over to the family cookout. Mama ain't never been married. None of her aunties never been married. She, grandmama ain't never been married. And all of them was talking crazy about men. All of them was telling her, girl, if you're going to deal with a man, make sure you deal with one that can give you something. Oh, sure, we all want a man that's going to be a provider and a protector. But when you hear that kind of talk, she already been trained to be a hoe. You didn't know it? That's why she was twerking and working and ducking and sucking and doing everything else to get you, to get your mind messed up so you couldn't see it for what she was. And you just rushing up in there because you think you winning. Next time, do better. Look at her mind instead of gazing at her behind. See if she has character more than you're worrying about a cup size. Look at what's in her heart instead of looking what's at her resume. Or what's on her resume. Because see, baby, it ain't nothing worse than finding out you ended up with an educated fool. Quit worried about how big her paycheck is because it's very few women that are wise enough to balance making more money than a man and still treat him like one. Now if you want you a woman that's going to be walking around with your testicles in her pocketbook and she attaching with some Velcro when she wants you to have them, then you keep on walking around here bragging about my girl got this, my woman got this, she made this and she... Keep on evaluating the woman for what she can do for you financially. And you might find yourself in a situation where you ain't nothing but the little boy. The script be done flipped because she the man and you the woman. Start looking at a woman for more than just a release, a physical release for sex. Stop looking at her just for her body. And start looking at her mind and her heart. Because baby, that's what's going to take you down the long road. Once again, the wrong woman, an ignorant woman, a foolish woman, a silly woman will take more out the back door in a teaspoon than you can bring in the front door with a shovel. With a dump truck, rather.
You better pay attention. For those of you who didn't pay attention and didn't know, that's why some of y'all money is in the house making somebody else rich right now. I know everybody's not a believer, but I'm going to share something with you from the scriptures that I hope every young man and some of you older men will hear so that the next time you meet that bubble booty woman, that you don't get caught up and end up throwing your life away all because she thinks she's a member of the mystical order of the golden coochie. I'm going to leave this with you. And I hope it helps some of you to heal and find the courage to love again because we need you. From the fifth chapter of Proverbs. My son, attend to my wisdom and bow thine ear to my understanding that thou mayest regard discretion that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take on to hell. Lest thou shouldest ponder the path of life, her ways are movable. Thou cannot know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from the words of my mouth. Remove thy way. Far from her, and come not nigh the door of her house, lest thy give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel, lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger, and thou mourn at last, and thou mourn at the last. When thy flesh and thy body are consumed. That's the life of a foolish man that keeps dealing with foolish, crazy women. Did you hear that part where he said your labor will be in the house of strangers? That strangers would be filled with your wealth? Some of y'all paying for houses you can't live in, cars you can't drive because you got money stacked up down in the court system, alimony and child support. All because of that crazy woman. And she was crazy to start with. I hope these 10 or 15 minutes has done some of you some good. I believe there's a lot of good men out there. I believe there are some damaged ones too. I hope that you can do what I had to do after I had run into an unscrupulous person. Stop. Take the time to assess your part in the fallout of the relationship. Even if it's only the fact that you just chose the wrong one and stayed too long. Take the time to heal. Except sound and wise counsel, no matter how harsh it sounds. All medicine don't taste good, but it does good when it gets down in you. And start the journey to heal. And when you are, stop looking, listen, so you don't get God again. There's a good woman waiting on you, and I sure hope you find her. In the meantime, be good to yourself. <laughs>